of your success included driving O'Brien Winner Beyond Delight and finalists Emoticon Hanover and Yaris Bayama. How do you feel about each of their 2016 seasons and future potential? Uh, you know what, I, I love them all, you know, uh, they always uh, put out their 100% uh, Beyond Delight, you know, uh, when he was going for the big bucks, he showed up. Same thing for Yaris Bayama. Uh, Marty Khan, you know, there's nothing else to say. She bet she she beat uh, the best running filly in the world, I think, in Caprice Hill. Uh, they all showed up when time came, and I'm really looking forward to next year for them two-year-olds to come as a three-year-old. And is there any other horse you think that flew under the radar last year? You're expecting bigger things from in 2017. Uh, if there's one I would like to mention, maybe uh, Jake, uh, he's a two-year-old trotter. Uh, he had his uh, up and downs as a two-year-old campaign, but uh, I really think he's, he's got the potential to be a top three-year-old, and I'm very excited to, uh, to drive him as a three. And in 2016, you also got to watch your father's induction into the Canadian Horse Racing Hall of Fame. What's one thing you've learned from him that really resonates with you at this point in your career? Uh, first of all, I'm, I was very happy to see him inducted in the Hall of Fame. And uh, he's taught me so many things. It's tough to uh, point out one. But there's one that uh, resonates, uh, I would say, patience. He always taught me to be patient with young horses, and if they're any good, they're gonna pay back, you know. And uh, that's what I've learned, and that's why that's how I try to uh, drive uh, young horses. Well, congratulations again, and uh, best of luck this year. Thank you very much.